what's up guys um it is about day seven since they canceled uh the college baseball season doing homework um if you guys haven't known they put all of our classes or at least at my school they put all of our classes online now so going to class um like i'm actually about to take a test and um but yeah, guys, things have been so crazy. These are these are strange times we're living in. Tend to be as big enough to get rid of an entire college baseball season. Everything else you can probably think of. Uh, March Madness is another example. I mean, we can't, you know, we don't stop training. Um, it's kind of crazy, but there's there's no weight rooms to go work out in uh, for me right now uh, in town where I live. Um, a school that all of our facilities are off limits. Um, so basically everything is, is like, uh, you know, getting it, getting it in by yourself, you know, at your house, at your apartment. So I'm going to show you guys a little bit of what a quarantine day, uh, with me is like. Be honest guys, I have not ran significant long distance since the fall we have been playing games up until last week so now I'm pushing it I guess wish me luck Pretty out here. Did I just say pretty pretty? It's pretty pretty out here. So we're a little over the two and a fourth mile mark, and uh, we're going strong so far. I'm fatiguing a little bit, but we keep going. Not that bad, huh? Pretty good. Why don't you tell the people about what you do and why you run this often? Um, I get that question a lot. Like, why are you running 10 miles? Are, are you okay? Do, do you need to talk about something? But personally, I just enjoy it. Yeah, you just enjoy it? Yep. Hey guys, we're always here. We're always pushing the limits. <laughs> Come over here. <laughs> Everybody's just wondering, this is the highest point of the hill, okay? And so I figure I might as well practice on stealing some bases and getting a steel jump. So we're gonna knock 10 out. But I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like. So first, take your primary. You get settled, right? I like to dig with my right foot a little bit, so I have something to push off of. Wait for him to pitch. You say go whenever he pitches, okay? Go. <laughs> you get in whatever stance you want, and I'm going off of your first movement, okay? <sighs> I'm already feeling it in my quads, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna have to grind through this.
So we just finished those hill sprints. I'm gassed to be honest. But yeah, guys, like for all of you, which is probably most of you watching right now, your season's probably canceled, um, kind of like mine is. And if it's not, I'm happy for you. I'm kind of jealous, honestly. Uh, you gotta keep finding ways to push yourself. There's always things that you can do to, to test the limits of something, whether that be physically or mentally. And me, I don't like running long distance, which is why I came out here and did it today, you know? <clears throat> push the limits of, of you know, what, what, what you expect yourself to be, and you'll be more. Bad timing, but the rain's coming. We gotta beat the rain. All right, I'm gonna take you guys off so I don't ruin my camera. Bye. All right, folks, uh, we have just finished running. Uh, we're back in the car. We're actually headed to my grandparents' house. Um, they have a lot of land, and I need a I need a long toss to keep the arm in shape. So, um, yeah, we'll see you guys there. So I've made it to my grandparents. We are here. It's windy. Pressure washing. What's up, guys? What's up? How's it going? Not enough to start? Yes, enough to start. Okay. After a day of running and hiding from the rain, 
we now venture into Cajun culture to finish off the day. This is a crawfish. I'll be busy. I'll see y'all later.